Brennan Zabados has always had a love for hockey. As far as I can remember, I was watching hockey on the couch with my parents, and I started playing uh, when I was five years old. And it didn't take long for that love to turn into a passion, and that passion to evolve into a profession. I've had a lot of fun. Uh, hockey's taken, taken me to some pretty cool places. Places like Vancouver, where Zavados won her second Olympic gold medal as part of the Canadian women's hockey team back in 2010. A memory, she says, will last a lifetime. But the gold medals she's won are just part of who she is. For the majority of her career, Zavados has been defying the odds and making history by playing in men's leagues. To me, playing with the guys is normal. I guess anytime I go somewhere new, it's um, a little different for the league if I'm the first female or whatever. But um, for me, I just want to play hockey, and that's my goal just go out, have fun, and play hockey. Including her most current stint. Zabados is one of two goalies for the Columbus Cottonmouths, joining the team at the end of last season and immediately feeling at home. It's basically like having 20 brothers on the team. They, they look out for me, take care of me, and we have a lot of fun. She's one of the most technical sound goalies I've seen in my career. I mean, she's very capable uh, uh, of, of putting some wins together for us and helping us out. It's a role she continues to embrace every time she takes the ice and one she hopes will continue for the many years to come. My dad always tells me you, you'll have time to sleep when you die, so kind of just enjoy life and take things one at a time. For WLTZ First News, I'm Jenna Caleri. Hockey has always been a part of Shannon Zabados's life. While she may not know exactly why. Probably because I'm Canadian and that's all we do up there. She does know it'll always be an important part of who she is becoming a female in the public eye who continues to make a splash in the male-dominated sport. But Shannon is more than just an athlete. She's become a role model for young girls everywhere, something she wasn't too comfortable with at first, but has since become used to it. I've had that responsibility and, you know, it's fun. It's fun to see the little girls in their hockey jerseys and to hear their stories and share my stories with them as well. And she's not only spent time instilling the never-give-up attitude, she's put herself to work. In previous years, Shannon has helped in the fight against cancer, beginning a Saves for the Cure fundraiser, where she sought out sponsors to donate money for every save during the season, a fundraiser she's hoping to start back up again. She's also raised funds for the Youth Emergency Shelter Society, just a couple of things Shannon is doing to give back to charitable organizations. Hockey's given me so much. Uh, I've been to so many cool places that I never would have been before, learned so many life experiences, and I think it's important for us as we, as we get a little bit older to give back to the younger generations. A giver off the ice and a competitor on it. So what's next for Shannon? As a hockey player, your goal is to play the highest level possible, and you know I'm still with, playing with Team Canada as well, so um, just keep playing hockey as long as I can and have fun and enjoy it and see where it takes me. For WLTZ First News, I'm Jenna Kaleri.